everyone. Uh, this is uh, James Ford with Photo Coffee Photography Group in Brownsville, Texas, and I'd like to show you a little trick I learned. It's uh, how to make a very simple to use light meter. Uh, what you do is you get the brightest white paper you can. Cut out a piece. It could be a square, a circle, a bird, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. What I do is glue it onto a, a piece of black paper. It's the blackest Matted paper you can find. Glossy might uh, distort the, the, the effect. So just to give you really simple, basic matte black paper, bright white paper, matte also. Although I don't know if the white paper has to be so matte. I prefer it though. Just put it on there. Voila! Very simple, easy to use. Light meter. Now, how to use it is, uh, let's say, you want to photograph this wall, right? <laughs> now, what you do is you, you take a photograph in your manual settings, you frame it like this, so you get plenty of white and plenty of black on, on the image. And you can, it doesn't matter which way, up or down, sideways, does not matter. As long as there's plenty of white, plenty of black. difficult to see this, but the histogram, here's a photograph, there's a white area and the black area, there's a histogram, and it shows the white exposure and the black exposure. Now the spikes are somewhat centered, if, if the spikes are too far to one side or the other, it's too bright or too dark. If they're, if they're too far this way, you're not getting enough information in your image, it's going to be black. It's going to be really hard to save that in Photoshop or whatever you use later on. If the white is too far this way, it's overexposed and you're losing information on that end. And you know, you try to save the image, but if it's too bright, it's just not gonna look good. So anyways, uh, if, if it, so if it is one way or the other, just make your settings, adjustments, and the aperture, shutter speed, or the ISO until the spikes are centered, and you should have a perfectly uh, 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 exposed image. And uh, another thing you can use this for is white balance. Um, you can use a custom white balance option on your camera to get the, the colors just right too. It looks great. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you can. Thanks.